My mother used to tell me a story when I was a child. Thousands of years ago, there lived a powerful emperor whose greatest desire was immortality. Mm -hmm. He became obsessed, mm -hmm. promising his greatest alchemists what they needed. They needed human subjects for their tests. They always do. Every year, on the same day, the emperor sent soldiers to break down his people's doors, taking away the young and the healthy for experimentation. But these were no ordinary soldiers. They were taller, stronger, faster than normal humans. They were NBA players. They each carried the mark she upon their bodies. The mark soon became a symbol of fear amongst the people, and that day forever became known as she. She. My mother told me she was one of the people that she experimented on, and that she lived she. unchanged for thousands oh, of years. I always thought it was a fairy tale. It's pretty badass. Never truly believed her until now. Until now. Oh, cool. Looks good. A little shimmery, but I mean, this is PlayStation. Looks good. Is that my mommy? Oh, looks good. What's that shit you're wearing, lady? How's it going? Fly often. Oh, nice knife. Sorry. I got there too late to save her. It's okay. I forgive you. <laughs> you have your mother's smile. Hmm, thank you, I guess. We always wondered what the future would hold. Of course. But we couldn't have imagined how terrible it would be. What? Mm. It's not that bad. You knew each other a long time? Sauna, come to the cockpit. <laughs> come to the cockpit, Sauna. Come to the cockpit, Sauna. I wonder if Sana's last name is Vabich. Sana Vabich. That was quick. Not that I would be much longer. Thank you, lady. That's a nice one, too. Not like the cheap ones you can find on Amazon. Whoa. Those Chinese developers know what they're doing. They did the same thing in Seeking Dawn. Tire. Signal check. Could be useful. In case we get separated. In case we get separated. Affirmative. My, name, my name's Tire. We don't know what's waiting for us down there. I don't care. Let's go. Are you sure you really want to come with me? I've never been so sure of anything in my life. Yeah. I need to know what happened. I need to know what happened. We're at the coordinates, but I can't see any islands. I can't get a read on the instruments. And you're the pilot. The down there. It seems safe enough, though. Oh, you're I'm sure. Us lower for a closer yeah, of course. Go lower. Safe. That's the best idea I've heard all day. Uh, she just shush me. Oh, shush me. Man. Holy crap. Well, are we alive? Come in, base. Do you read me? Over. Reading you, Cliff. What is it? Got an unidentified male here. Just fell from the sky. Who are you? Why are you here? Stage What's the matter? Jack! Don't you talk? <laughs> you fell onto the wrong island. We've been here months.
Jerk. Months with nothing to occupy us but junk. But now, <laughs> I've got you to keep me occupied. We're gonna play some cards. You reading me? Emergency recall. Stop playing with your imaginary friend and get back here. God damn it. Just when I was about to have me some fun. You're about to have you some fun, son. Someone's gonna pay for this. <laughs> and we'll finish this when I get back. I'll be gone when you get back. Hey, mister! Uh, wake up! Are you Hello. Okay? Better now. Are you a good guy or a bad guy? Whatever you want me to be. Well, I don't think I'm a bad guy. Oh, I saw everything. When that bad man kidnapped you. Need me to unlock this? Yeah, totally. Please. If you want. Hmm, I need to find a tool. I can help you with that. Just untie me. Let me see. Ugh, what a mess. Ah, this'll do. Indeed. <sighs> Thanks. It's gotta be the worst tad I've ever seen. Who are you? Why are you here? Me. <laughs> you haven't heard of Cookie Pie. <laughs> I'm a famous streamer. Everyone's heard of me. You wanna be on my podcast? I came here to find dragons. Dragons? Fire, come in. You read me. Affirmative. Loud and clear. It's good to hear your voice. Didn't think you'd die easily. What's your situation? Well, I just got saved by some kid, lost my gear in the crash, and have no idea where I am. So all told, I'm just peachy. I'll head for higher ground, try to find some kind of landmark. Roger that. Keep in touch. Sana, looks like there's more than we bargained for down here. Be careful. Copy that. So, have you come to find dragons too? Totally. Love dragons. Uh, right? Hey, you can't leave me here. I'm coming with you. I saved you after all. I'll see if I can get you somewhere safe. <laughs> awesome! Adventure awaits! Hurry up. Alright, can I move now? I can. Do I a pack of smokes and a lighter? Can I pick any of this stuff up? No. Of course not, because my camera won't track me to the ground. I forget. You get playing Rift for uh, a couple of weeks and you forget what you can and can't do. The rules are different for PlayStation. And it's not a problem. Oh, my clothes are ruined. I can't go live to my followers like this. It's not a problem if you're used to it. So I can't take the hammer. I have no weapons, but I can't take the hammer. There's got to be something here somewhere for me to defend myself with. Every time you see that little window pop up there, that's me hitting the wrong button to turn left. Just so those who are following at home knows what's happening. I gotta say, visually it looks pretty good. 
could use a little more contrast that looks kind of like a rift game is that a running truck oh I see something they have item markers here oh I see a couple of body bags too is that a dead body? you never seen one before Smell. All right, we found the fiction of destiny. It's a uh, autopsy report of who she weigh. Twenty-seven-year-old male. Team of Team Alpha of Recovery. Garrison number three. Subject was found yesterday. Shut up. The subject was found yesterday. It's an abdominal cavity burst. En route to headquarters. There's a deep scratch on the body. Analy DNA analysis of the skin under the corpse's nail suggests it's self inflicted. It also appears to contain a hitherto unknown species of fungus. Also present were quantities of meat, potentially primate, but not of any local species. Large clusters of the fungi found in the gut have spread to the chest and abdomen. Time of death is estimated at three days, which doesn't seem like enough time for this quantity of fungi to have developed. The subject appears to have ingested the fungus, perhaps suffering hallucinations, prompting it to ingest quantities of meat. There is no reasonable explanation for the spread of the fungus post-mortem, and the cause of death is not apparent. Further analysis of the fungal species is suggested. Slow, mister. Lady, I'm going to put a bullet in your mouth if you don't shut up. Alright, so apparently uh, the subject here ingested some kind of fungus and became uh, infected with it. It spread quickly, it caused hallucinations, and um, the body has self-inflicted one, so it probably created some kind of aggressive hypnosis the same type that happens in about half of the zombie games that are released these days I wanted to try to find a weapon here but I guess not some seagulls See, it's jarring because you have to stop moving to turn if you want to turn in the other direction. Oh, we got some popping now. I guess I ran into the lady and it made the screen pop. Wow, look at that view. Yeah, it is Wait, nice. Let me take a selfie. Are you afraid of heights, mister? I love heights. Oh, I love VR. You can go. There are so many earthquakes here. You can go to these places, sit out and look at these views, and totally feel like you're in these places that these games put you. But I know in reality I'm standing in the middle of my bedroom floor. But I do not feel like I'm standing in the middle of my bedroom my floor. Question. Are you here for the dragons or not? Because I was here first, so this is my exclusive. So that's why they call it the Dragon's Triangle. Fisherman's stories mainly, but they won't come here anymore. Because of the dragons. How did you get here, kid? You can call me Cookie Pie. A lot of luck and a lot of cash. I bet cash. 
So I see some uh, platforms built into the mountainside. I wonder if I'm going to get a travel on those. This is quite a view. Makes me feel like I'm in, uh, in charter, uncharted. Oh, I almost missed something. Knife. That's not a knife. Hello, Betty. I've missed you. You're this so is a knife. Lady, you're about to lose that tongue. I wonder if it'll let me. You think it will? I could get this girl in one swipe. Ashtray. Well, it looks like I'm going to get a walk on these platforms. I wonder if I can go back on this one. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Holy crap. Oh, shit. You can fall. <laughs> you can totally fall. <laughs> I thought I would get it just as close to the edge as the game would let me get. The game's like, what edge? No one had heard of me when I finally got here. Then those bad men stole my suitcase. Tough break. Tough break. They're looking for something. Who knows what? It had better not be dragons. What do you think, mister? I think that it says a lot about you that these lonely men are left on this island and they let you go. Ah! Oh, that made me jump. Hurry up, cookie pie. If only they hadn't stolen my suitcase. I had my climbing gear in it. Oh, oh yeah. Cookie pie. In all the world dares to walk these. I'm probably safe with this girl. They see her, they're going to run the other way. Hey, hurry up. Hey, I'm right here. Let me do it. <laughs> Let me do it. All right. I got to chop some wood. Got to do something with it. All right, come on, cookie pie. Or don't. Careful. Let me see. You coming? Oh, boy. Okay. Take a minute here just to look out over these rocks because it is quite a view. My fans would miss me if I got caught. This place is lethal. What are you still doing here? I am a live broadcaster. I'm lethal. I promise my followers I will find dragons and I always keep my promises. Come on, no dragons. That's probably all you're gonna find here, lady. Totally digging the vibe of this game. But I've got cookie pie is full of surprises. <laughs> oh, you dumb bitch. I did not know it was loaded. You have it. Cover me. I don't like that it didn't let me shoot that dude just then. Crap, I must be turned around physically. 
I'm about to die. You see, I, uh, I, uh, I went to turn and press that inventory, and the shit hit the fan. Hit him once. Got him. So do I recover from damage just by chilling and not getting hurt for a minute? Hope so. I took a couple shots there. But these blood splatters are not going away, so... I could have tried to move and get in the cover, but I don't trust my instincts, my reflexes to move because these controls are so jacked. The movement could be a little faster too. The cookie pie go. Is she gone? Let me check my position in my room here. Okay. Alright, so I know I'm supposed to go in the cave, but the explorer in me says try to climb the rocks. I can't climb the rocks. Man, that angle is messed up. Crap, I was gonna try to shoot him. Hey, sweetheart. How old are you? Smelly rascal. Smelly rascal. can hear you scream. How far up do those legs go? We'll take care of you. No need to be. Let her go. What are you? I feel like I should be hitting this dude. Die already, jeez. Where's number three at? Scum. There was three of them. Where'd he go? He took cookie pie, my lady. I loved her so much. Now she's gone. All right, I should be able to scavenge and take these guys' guns, right? No, I'll get more ammo for them with the gun that I have. What's this? A flare or some kind of inject? Oh, it's health. All right, so it looks like... Now, is there a way for me to check my... Check my health? I'd like to know what my uh, situation is here. Um, 
So this is move. These turn. This brings up the menu. What if I bring up that case? I hold the button and bring up the case. Nothing here. So maybe that's not health. Maybe I do regenerate my health. I don't know. I would like some explanation. That would be really handy. Put that away until I know what it is. And give me my gun. Okay. I hear water in the distance. Yep, there's a waterfall. Is that them? Wow. This place looks cool. dudes. Oh, I got a rifle too. Is it a two-handed weapon? No, it's one-handed. Oh, I see. I was using the sight roll. Oh, that's cool. Well, that works way better than that pistol. I'm okay with just one-handed weapons if they work like that. Where's my cookie pie at? Oh, there's a propane tank I could have taken out. You know, just for shits and giggles. All these corpses laying around. Move my ass back here. Switch over to the pistol. Boom! So I got 152 ammo of this and what? 37 pistol ammo. Normally I'm conservative with my ammo. I'll use the pistol first and then then I'll move up to the more powerful weapons, but in a game like this where I'm not real comfortable with fighting, I'm not very competent to fight with a weak weapon. So I'm just going to hang on to the big guns until I get better at moving around here. And just for the record, I'm holding both walk buttons down. This is running right now. This is as fast as you can go. So we got four grenades. I definitely want the grenades to be in my right hand. Move melee weapon to the left. Anyway, it's hard enough to throw in VR with my right hand. If I if I could do try to do anything left-handed, it's going to be terrible. Oh crap! I wish this thing was a little bit brighter so I could see a little better. I don't know if it's supposed to be just where I'm in the cave. Okay, I see this guy. 
Can I bonfire at him? Alright. Something over there. No more bad guys. These guns are easier to use without using the uh oh, I shot him in the nuts. <laughs> It's easier to not aim down the sights with these. It's better to just shoot from the hip. We got more. What is this? Image of memories, it says. Whatever that means. Now, is that in my inventory now? No. Alright, let's search the grounds here. Man, look how much ammo I used. That sucks. Probably should have pulled a grenade out, huh? Yeah, I know. I see more ammo up there. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything here. Alright, so what's that give me? It must have been a different kind of ammo. Okay, I guess I'll just have to cycle to it. That's just for making inventory changes, that little menu screen there. Okay. What do we have here? Is that a mini cookie pie? So the USB drive with cookie pie. Hmm. It's February seventh, nineteen eighty seven now, and I am dying. Our ship encountered a huge tornado two weeks ago, lifting it out of the water and dumping it onto this island. I'm second mate of the Elizabeth and was doing my rounds on the deck when reports that the navigation instruments had failed reached me. Then the tornado hit us. I made out a shape in the maelstrom like a dragon. Somehow I survived, no one else did. Both my legs are broken. I crawled back to the beach, no signs of human life. I went back found some berries, but can't hunt. Wrote a diary, but then I burned it for the heat. Dying. Stop here. Okay. I always thought Yingzhu Isle was a myth. So when I found out someone was looking for it, I thought it was all a big joke. It's ironic that I almost missed such a chance because of my incredulity. My name is Zhu Zhuoyin, a renowned scholar, professor of classical studies. 
Chi Corps found some of my research on the alchemists of the Ying Dynasty. Mostly speculative papers, fringe stuff. But they made reference to Ying Zhu Isle. They invited me to join their expedition to find it. So here we are. There is some surviving architecture on the island. Scarce as it is, it seems to match the era. But that alone does not prove anything. We found a small citadel on the western side of the island. The internal structures were gone, but compacted earth platforms and the walls remained. We unearthed some pottery fragments, some excellent bronze sacrificial vessels of Ying design. I can hardly contain my excitement at the prospect, but I don't trust Chi Corps. What are their motives? This doesn't seem like an archaeological expedition. The majority of the staff are mercenary. To fend off pirates or scavengers, they said. I heard some of them mention a rare jade. If their plan is to find and sell cultural artifacts, now I'll have a thing or two to say about that. Oh yeah. Well, mustn't get carried away. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Juge Wayin, November seventh, twenty seventeen. Okay. So I'm definitely digging the uh, uncharted vibes that I'm getting here. The scenery, the type of gameplay. I really wish the movement was better. Because it really holds you back in a gunfight that you can't. Uh, you know, you don't have good reflexes because you're unsure of the button combinations. It's not natural. But story-wise, audio-visual-wise, audio this is a good game. Everything that I've found wrong with it so far could be easily fixed. If they just give you some options with the uh, controls and pick up the movement speed a little bit, this game could be really great. You know, of course, depending on what's down the path ahead. It could fall off a cliff as soon as I'm around the corner there, or it could take off and become even better. But everything's here for this game to be great. So, I think this is a good spot to cut. We've been going a little while. When we come back, we will move further down the path toward Cookie Pie and Glory. Glory and Cookie Pie. Be sure to uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you like what you see here, click that like button. Subscribe. Notification bell. And when we come back, onward we go. I want to thank you for watching. And I will see you another day from another game. Thanks again. Bye-bye.